Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to port a phone number from uh, any different um, other company uh, to Twilio. Like for example, uh, if you have a cell phone number that you no longer use, before it gets deactivated, you can port it to Twilio. Um, in this demonstration or guide, I'm going to forward a, a port, a phone number from another provider called Number Barn. Uh, who charges, I believe, six dollars a month to um, to host and 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 forward phone calls and text messages to Twilio because I can do it much cheaper in Twilio. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. Uh, first, I am going to uh, describe the uh, the the whole process and and see if we can. Um, um, then execute the process. So first of all, you have to go to uh, phone numbers and uh, once you're in phone numbers, um, you go to port and host and then over here you're going to click on this create new port request. Uh, there will be a form that you fill out um, like this. It's a whole form. At the bottom you do need to submit a couple of documents um, I think billing statement is one of them and another one is uh, authorization form that you have to fill out and sign and then you would then go to um, well you also need to have a pin number so I'm on another tab here I'm going to go to my um, source of the number where I'm porting the number from which is number barn and I am going to log in and I'm going to show you uh, where it is that the information that they're looking for, uh, what are the pertaining information that you need to have. So, hold on just a moment. Let me um, type this in. Wonderful. What the heck's going on? All right, so let's just say that uh, this is the number that I'm trying to forward. Uh, I mean, port. I don't know why I keep on saying forward. And um, in Number Barn, um, they they nicely have this option here, and then you can click on something called port porting information, uh, account details for porting away, which is exactly what we want to do. So for porting out, so we're porting away, porting out. Uh, this particular phone number and these are all the information that is shown here one in particular that you're interested in is the pin number so the pin number um, is going to be required here in the uh, Twilio form so let's go ahead and just click on this uh, yes I'm aware and responsible for charges etc etc so you can give it a name uh, so this is my my ported number is uh, what I'm going to name it. Let's say that this is a business and you can give it some company name, Acme Inc., some address, some city, and, um, and then some zip code. Um, now, this is where all the phone numbers that you would like to uh, port, you would put it all here. If it's a wireless number, um, you would put the cell phone number here along with the account number of your carrier provider and then the PIN number. So the PIN number is the one that you got from um, uh, the carrier. Like like I have a PIN number that uh, from Number Barn. And then you would then just fill out the uh, letter of authorization or billing statement. Both of these are required and then you hit submit. Okay, so what happens after this is that, um, uh, let me get a, a notepad going here, or wordpad. Okay. So what comes next after this is that uh, you will get an email from Twilio um, to confirm that the process started. And then afterwards, you would get another uh, email later on uh, from Twilio 
email from Twilio if they need more information, if they need more information, such as if they need to have a, um, um, I have one before, the one that says that zip code doesn't match, which means that uh, they check uh, your, your current zip code that you have for that particular phone number that you're porting uh, against your account to make sure that it matches. Um, not, I don't think this is against the account uh, that you have on Twilio, but let's say, for example, uh, in Number Barn, I have a billing address, and I have to be able to guess the, the, the zip code of that billing address over at Number Barn uh, for them to uh, authenticate to make sure that I, I really am the person that is authorized and know uh, to move the numbers away. All right, so the third one is that you know, I would just want to say that um, you will get tons of email. Um, well, not tons, but you get a lot of email, a lot of email from Twilio um, for every single step that they do. and. Um, I have had phone numbers, I think my first attempt of porting took two months because um, I just kind of prolong it, I, it wasn't something that is important to me. Every time they send me a message um, or an email from Twilio, I, I drag my ass to, to, to get it done. And um, yeah, but um, a lot of email from Twilio and they're very persistent, um, they will not quit. Um, which is good because eventually we, we solved that problem and I got used to uh, the porting process and I have many numbers. Um, I ported, uh, I don't know, about five numbers maybe uh, to Twilio because it's just more economical and I have better control. Um, uh, as a programmer, I can do more things in Twilio. There's no sense for me to pay more at Number Barn. Um, yeah, so I ported a lot of numbers and I wouldn't have gotten that far if they were not persistent. So Twilio had really have good support. I um, I would like to commend them for for having good support and persistency uh, of taking care of uh, unfinished business. All right. Well, that's about it. Um, after you um, uh, finish um, with the porting process, they will also send a final email uh, saying that the uh, the porting. Uh, will be scheduled like they will they'll send a, a, a scheduled porting email this is the final email that tells you like okay um, at this date um, and this time let's say um, Pacific time usually I think because they're in California the number uh, will be live and you better be ready to um, to receive that number and make sure you can use it um, at Twilio. Once your porting is completely done, uh, you will see your numbers here just like normally, like all your other numbers under Manage Numbers and they're all going to be listed here uh, in this particular section. and. Um, um, their capabilities uh, for the ported numbers that I've done are actually uh, turning out to be full, fully capable. Um, I don't know if there's any difference between um, where the number comes from. Um, I did port one particular number here that you notice that uh, it doesn't have the, uh, the fax capability, so that's kind of strange. So I don't really understand why that is. It's probably because of uh, where the number come from. Um, other than that, the numbers once ported pretty much feels like any other number that I bought from Twilio directly. Um, so they work as as normal from that point on and uh, you don't need to do anything else um, that is any different than a non-ported number. So, um, okay, so I've, uh, that's it for this video. I hope the um, this video is useful uh, for you and if you have any question please leave it in a comment I'll be more than happy to reply to them uh, if you do um, want to get a Twilio account I uh, would appreciate if you use my link um, I will put my link in the description and I'll also put um, a link on the uh, 
on the first comment um, on the comment section uh, please use my link it will help support this channel and my effort of trying to make more videos and um, thank you for watching Yeah. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.